welcome back or welcome if you're just now tuning into this this is uh what is this part four yeah i think mm, yeah i believe so <sighs> when i last left off i was where's the part five I genuinely can't remember. Now it's gonna bother me, I have to know. <laughs> this is part five? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is part five. <laughs> and when I last left off, I had got uh, so we're going to uh, and I also said we were going to do there stands the grass and we're going to loot vault 22 and that's what I'm going to do that's why I'm here we don't need to uh, go down the stairs if you have a high enough repair you can repair the elevator let me show that off Repair 50. I don't have 50 repair. I could get it. Oop. Don't do that. That was a misclick. It's on my mouse. One of my mouse buttons I actually fat fingered it. Um, so there's two ways to get the elevator repaired. Uh, you can repair it yourself, or you can have Keely do it whenever you find her. If you don't kill her instantly. If you're, you know, not a psycho. You can see a uh, a hole in the wall there. What leads to a cave. Uh, check inventory. I don't think I got anything. It said receiving inventory information. I didn't receive anything. Ah. There are some grenades in here. It's the first time I've seen a five ball. I don't... You know, a pool ball. It's the very first time I've seen that. We don't need to really worry about any enemies. I'm just kind of looking around right now, seeing what's here. There are a couple things of interest here. There's a unique weapon. There's a flamer. Uh, another weapon. Uh, there's a restored terminal here. There's a noise complaint. Looks like one of the uh, vault dwellers was complaining about noise. Or someone was. You can see a whole lot of vegetation growing around here. Shit's very loud. I'm going to turn my headset down a little bit. It's mainly the vault doors. I don't know why they're so loud for me. Um, there's nothing really of interest on level 2, so we're going to go to level 3. Food production. Alright. Food production. There's the elevator. And there's our first run-in with a spore carrier. A unique enemy only found within Vault 22. And other DLCs. But I don't know. I don't know why, really why they used the... Uh, reused the enemy in other DLCs. I'm not really sure. I don't complain though. There's n there, it's not everywhere. Uh, there's some uh, terminals on this, or some entries on this terminal. I'll uh, pause if you want to read them. So this is entry number six. This is uh, a expedition team that came into Vault 22, um, or a a group of people that came in here. This was written by one of them. Because it said that they found the bodies of the scientists that lived here, or that worked here. Well, I don't know why a vault dweller would be writing about that, you know? Good to check the shrubbery, make sure nothing's camouflaged in it, like this guy. Slap him down. Here you can hear some mantises, there's some right there. And there's
there they go. Cass has her combat knife out, which means she's aggro, but she doesn't have line of sight on the enemies, so she can't actually engage with them. seeing any other terminals here. Ah, here we go. Food additive, a restored terminal. Status report. This is one of the, uh, a scientist wrote this one. I assumedly whoever's working on, I assume it's whoever's working on, or whoever created the vege why the vault is overgrown with vegetation. another terminal but it doesn't work okay so let's continue on uh, I actually backtracked a little bit whoops my bad no I didn't there we go so we found uh, another terminal this one should have some t entries on it at 1846 today and still hasn't returned requesting security s escort for science personnel to conduct a search assistant Mathers medical emergency medical team up right now Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who is horribly wounded he just paled and sh he just paled or palled that piled I'm not I'm not sure and shook his head Seems like uh, there's something going on in the cave. Let's try and get access. Disengage lock. Access denied. Contact admin for clearance. Maybe find the overseer's office? The overseer's office is usually connected on the... Um, the fourth level. The common area. common areas there's going to be a whole lot more enemies. Let's start off on the left hand side here. We're immediately blocked by what appears to be uh, some lockers and some desks. Can't take that way so we have to go to the right. Alright and then we come into this open area. There's the overseer's office right there. And there's a locker in here that has a gun or something in it. Ah food. I didn't know it m I didn't know his thing marked containers too, that's really cool. So we have a cafeteria over Any here as well. Moves, it's gonna get it. Oh, there's actually some fresh apples and some fresh carrots in here. Which is really, really good food. If you uh, would like some food, dirty water, some beer. Here we have a vending machine with some Sunset Sarsaparilla and another terminal. Uh, we have more expedition entries. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were, were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the grow lamps into UV sp spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. Uh, these entries might be from Keeley. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the, par the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary <coughs> excuse me, tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. I assume these were written by Keeley. Described as 
a genius um, among, uh, well, normal individuals. Anything moves, it's gonna get it. Oh, okay, Cass, I, I understand. Please calm down. All right, let us find our way down there. I believe it's right there. Nothing. However, before we do that, let's go over here to the overseer's office and check this out. We are in the overseer's office. I don't know if there's anything hostile in here. Doesn't look it. Seems like we're okay. Well, let's check out this terminal. Unlock crew quarters. Okay. Unlock data backup. Okay. Unlock cavern. Error. Override engaged at door site. So we can't unlock the cave entrance from that door that we found. It looks like we'll have to find another way in there. Maybe checking the uh, the crew quarters. Or the... Um, well, the crew quarters was the only thing we unlocked, so... We did do some kind of data backup. Over here we have uh, the two restrooms. Let's check the, the ladies' room first. Doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Found a spore carrier runt in one of the rooms. Nothing in the rest of the stalls. Let's check the men's room. Nothing. Some sinks, highly irradiated, obviously. Some urinals, highly irradiated as well. Now let's begin our way downstairs. I believe this is where we came from, yes? Yes, because there's the elevator. Let's begin making our way downstairs. Let's check the utility room real quick since we have cleared it out and this is the closest room near us. Right here we have a toolbox, some tool cabinets, a lot of flamer fuel, which is interesting. And then if we branch off over here, we can find a laser pistol with some energy cells next to it, some, mi uh, mi some, uh, some microfusion in a tool cabinet. I don't know if that's um, always there or if that's some more flamer fuel as well. I don't know if that's always there or if it's um, randomly generated. And then we have a flamer on the floor. In really, really good condition too. 932. Worth 932 caps, of course. Yeah, that's really good condition. Wow. Take some of the flamer fuel. I might need it. Maybe. I wonder if these plant enemies are more susceptible to fire. So we've checked the utility room. Let's ac go across the room and check the quarters. Actually, before we do that. Yes, I knew there was a clinic. Let's check the clinic first. Well, it seems to be clear. Some scalpels and some empty syringes. First aid box, another tool cabinet. More tool cabinets, nothing in them. Filing cabinets. And a desk. And another terminal. Ah, a whole lot of entries. Pneumonia.
His body is rejecting the treatment and actually worsening. Huh. Oh my. Another group of chills, a fever, and a terrible raking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. 162 update. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. 162 update. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day and the next Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee the office and seal him it inside until security arrived. But what the hell is going on if all the recent illnesses are the same thing? Hmm. It seems the... Uh, fungal infection actually well the fungal infection air quotes actually is killing them the spores around the vault are actually infecting the inhabitants killing them and Excuse me. Killing them and turning them into these things. Okay. You saw it there for a second, but I got pushed by my companions. What we picked up right there was the cave entrance key, which is here somewhere. I think it's on my key ring. Ah, oh, here it is. So Vault 22 Cave Door Keycard. There's also some scrap metal and these Vault 22 jumpsuits. I'm taking these for future. Oh, Rex went and committed a murder. I guess it's not really murder if they're already... Well, I guess they're kind of dead. They're very much alive and attacking me, but I digress. I'm not worthy. You cannot sleep when enemies are nearby. Well, then I guess we must clear them out. We're almost finished with this floor. We just have a couple more rooms to look through. More vault suits to grab. my status effects affecting my agility? Yes, my sleep deprivation. I wonder if that's affecting my reload. Mm, some pre-war books. No, I don't think it was. Anyways, we are done with the fourth floor. We are now free to move on and go wherever we please, uh, being the fifth floor. We did get that cave keycard. We could try going back up to, I believe it was the second floor or the third floor. It may have been the third floor. We could go um, try and go back upstairs and see if we can access that cave door. I'm going to attempt that. Let's do it. So, I believe it was over here. Is it this room? Yes. It is this room. Access granted. Alright, we can enter the cave now. Gonna fix this bitch. 
bitch. Get him, Cass. I'm gonna go off to the right here and clear this first. And whip out my new handgun that I have not used yet. I mean, I've used it before in a... In another playthrough I did. Now we have, uh... Entered uh, oxygen recycling, which is, I believe, upstairs. I believe this is the second floor. There is something to grab up here. Um, this is the... You'll notice this is the hole in the wall that we saw from this end. We saw some lockers over here on the other side of the room. This is important because we need those HEPA-20 uh, filter, filter cartridges. There's six of those. We need those for... Um, ah, what is it? Uh, the, the Brotherhood of Steel. Now that we have done that, we can go downstairs again. Go back through the door and then go back down into the cave and go back to where we came from, but instead of going right, we'll go left. So here's where we entered. Let's go down here instead. There's another door down there. I don't know if we can access that. Let's go this way. Yeehaw. I'm sorry. Sometimes I enjoy doing that. So we have also picked up our pile of mantis eggs for the first part of the Bleed Me Dry quest, which is to get all sorts of eggs for Red Lucy. Let's go down here now and see if we can access this door. We can. Pest control. I believe that's the fifth floor. We'll come back in a second and deal with that. Alright, and up here it's just uh, kind of barricaded off. Sorry, I was turning my headset up a little bit. Alright, let's go down to the fifth floor now. Let's do a quick save so I don't have to go through all that again. Species 1, a distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap. Species BE908 seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plants lack, m uh, the plants lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Ew. Species 2. Mantis relagosa. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are, insects are more ferocious, and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, uh, where is it? And they comp they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. So lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when other food source when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. I don't even know how to say that. An ento <coughs> entomopath. The pathogenic fungus has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized a host body, technically, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. This is what happened to Dr. Peters. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying force, uh, spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Oh, well then I don't have anything to worry about. I sit in a room all day. That's a joke. I mean, 
It's a joke on me, but it's still a joke. There's a Tales of a Junktown Tricky Vendor right here next to this chemistry set. Nothing off to the right as soon as exiting that room. Alright, we are now directly across from the stairs and next to the elevator. Yes, Cass, anything that moves is gonna get it. We can see some uh, fungus growing um, inside that little section of the cave there. Do a little quick save. Let's unlock this door real quick. Looks like it goes to a cave. We'll check that in a second. cleared a majority of this building we can grab uh, some stuff in this room not a whole lot in here it seems there's some lockers no terminals no working terminals a bunch of terminals that are not powered or do not work what appears to be another cave entrance so let's go through this one the path that branches off to the right goes to a dead end so we'll just continue down. And we find ourselves inside of a giant cave. Let's paint this place red. You don't I don't see anything immediately off the bat. These spore plants seem to be attacking the mantises. Interesting. I think we may be done clearing out a majority of this vault. Well, majority of it. Doesn't mean all of it. We should stay on our toes until it's done. I think we may be done. <laughs> I'm gonna whip out the shotgun for now. It seems we have found Keeley. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Yeah. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. How much are you paying? So, you're one of those, huh? Fine. I'll give you all the money I have once we're done. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain more. Alright, well, if you don't know how to get out of here, you can freely follow her. Um, but the way out is just simply going up this little path up here. Once you're done, you can just walk up here and you can leave. And this will take us to the other path 
like the other entrance that we found that I unlocked with this, uh, that I lockpicked the door, this terminal, um, opened it. And this, uh, we unlocked this room right here by opening the data backup from the uh, overseer's room. So we're going to download the data for Dr. Hildern right there. Okay. And we are pretty much done here. This vault tech machinery is so fragile. I had to jury rig this elevator a few days, and it's on the fritz again already. Ah, that's got it. See you upstairs. Okay. So there is one more thing we need to do before we are out of this place. Um, does this go to where I think it goes? So on the fifth floor, if you go up, if you lockpick the stairs, you can find the AER-14 prototype, a unique laser rifle. I am now over in cupboard. Hmm. What do I want to draw? I increased my dehydration, boo. Yeah, I have too much water on me. Alright, back down to the fifth floor we go. Now we can take the elevator to the second floor and meet with Keeley who is in the lab area. You can go through this door and then go to the right, and she's right here running into a wall for some reason. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yeah, how can I help? Just as long as I'm getting paid. You really have a one-track mind, you know that? Anyway, listen up. Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Okay, I'll do it. Good. Return to me when it's done. Alright, so this just involves us going back down to the fifth floor, which uh, we're not going to take our companions. Sitting tight. And pretty. Be a good boy, Rex, and stay with Cass. Don't growl at me, mister. I know you don't like hats. Not sure why you don't like hats. I wonder if that's a lore reason. Like, if that's part of his... Like, if that's ever mentioned in any other game. I mean, Rex is over 200 years old. But, uh, anyways. So once you get down here, you can see very, like, this. the screen looks wavy. It looks like it's shimmering a little. This is where the vents are. Um, now, the easiest way that I know to do this... Um, is with a grenade when you close the door. What I usually do, see, I figured that wouldn't work. What I usually do is I grab the grenades next to Keeley, I throw a grenade, I close this door. And we're good to leave. seems like I missed an enemy because it sounded like I heard one die. Now you can do that with your companions, but do be, do be advised if you do do that and they are inside 
and if they get lit on fire, they will most likely die. Unless if if you're playing on hardcore, they will die. But if you're playing Let's on roll out then. if you're playing on any other difficulty, they will uh, just go unconscious. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. Well, what, what needs to be done? I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Will that take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external source. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I wonder. Um. I'm gonna try lying to her. It's possible. I've spent the last few days in a cave, after all. For all we know, that man sent someone immediately after you to swipe the data while you posed as mantis bait. Nothing to be done about it, I suppose. All we can do is delete what's here, and that's done. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run long now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Immediately lost some karma because I lied to her, however I gained karma for saving her. The last time I did this, I ended up killing her. I couldn't dissuade her from... Well, I wanted to leave with the files to get paid. And she wouldn't let me, so I had to kill her. Uh, there also seems to be some stuff over here. Looks like where Keeley was set up and where she was Holding eating. My breath. Yes, a restored terminal must be from Keeley's. Yes, expedition. I didn't notice this upon my entry. Yes, Keeley. She wrote the expedition entries. Ah, Rex. God damn, you were in the way. All right. We are done with Vault 22. It only took 40 minutes. Granted, I did take it slow. I did treat it like an actual playthrough instead of just running through it and getting it done. And I did explore most of the vault, so. Uh huh. It wasn't necessarily a bad thing. I really wish Rex would just stay out of my damn way. I think I can actually tell him to stay further back, actually. I can. Keep your distance. You're too close to me. Yeah, that's much better. We need we need to get some armor. This lightweight leather armor isn't going to carry me much longer. All right. Let's um, go into this building. Um, go talk to Dr. Hildern and Angela Williams, which hopefully doesn't give me too much NCR rep, which it probably will. <sighs> hey, Keeley just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just ringed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Just bottle caps. Thank, Thank goodness. All right, Dr. Hildern. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. I wouldn't call it charitable. It was just, you know, doing what would make me money. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Ah, 
Excuse me, I was grabbing some water. Make it fast, I want my money. If the data's intact, you'll get your reward. I gave my word. I'm not the kind of wasteland savage you're used to dealing with. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. You're damn right I have. Yeah. You owe me more caps. You want to renegotiate your contract? Hmm. This is a very serious matter. You do understand that, don't you? I realize that one's word counts for a little in the wasteland, but amongst civilized people, one doesn't just demand more than one has agreed to. <laughs> what contract are you talking about? You did an under-the-table deal with me. You're saying that I didn't file the proper paperwork, is that it? I suppose you're an expert on NCR procedures? Then it wouldn't matter if I had mentioned our deal to the Colonel. All right, fair enough. No need to bring the military into this matter. It's between the two of us, after all. Here, take these caps. That's all of my contracting budget, and it's yours. Now, I've got to get back to work. I'm sure you understand. Exit's over there. You can show yourself out. Damn. So 2,400 caps? Shit. No, that was more than that. He gave me... Alright, we want to get bartered up to 90. So, I got 800 from Williams. And then I got 1,200 from him originally. So I got... 2,600 caps. Gosh. Let's go ahead and uh, bumper pair up. So we want the 90 barter so we can get more caps from doing the Bleed Me Dry quest. Which we're going to go turn in right now. Well, turn in the first part. We're not done with the quest. Obvi oh, excuse me. Obviously. Wait, what? That was weird. Maybe there was a fiend out there or something. I was about to say, she should not have drawn her gun in here. Everybody in here is Finley. Welcome back, stranger. I, uh, found those eggs you wanted. Good work, stranger. The thorn will nurture these eggs until their hatchlings are ready to bleed for us. Here's a compensation for your service. I trust that we're in agreement over it. And pretty much every time you do that... It's going to be the same dialogue, ex especially the dialogue of her being like, I, I assume we're in agreement over it. Who else can bring you so many intact eggs? I deserve a much bigger reward than this. You speak the truth, stranger. And the thorn lives by the justice that honor and strength dispense. Here's a more fitting sum. Is there anything else I can do? Bring me a dozen rad scorpion eggs. I'll see to it that you're rewarded fairly. Where can I find them? The eggs I seek are not easy to find, stranger. Your best chances are in the mountains north of Good Springs and west from Quarry Junction. I will find these eggs. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. Oh, no. Don't block me, please. Jump over the dog. <laughs> Alright, now that we're done with that, let's go... Um... Do a little sneaky beaky for the Miss Alice McLafferty. And yes, that is a fiend. Go get him, boy! Well, I got him. Good job, Rex. Damn fool. I don't know what he thought he was doing out here. Being a damn fool. <laughs> Obviously. Monte Carlo Suites, huh? I want to grab this location. And just to have it. Mm, are you bad? You are bad. Who are you? Oh, you're a scorpion gang member. Come on! I don't know who the scorpions are. 
they're trying to pick a fight with me, they're gonna they're gonna get messed up. All right, so the eggs she's looking for are about here. Not necessarily really north of Good Spring, more northwest of Good Springs and west of Quarry Junction, because Quarry Junction's right there. It's more west, but if you go to Quarry Junction and you go to the west, you're just going to get mauled by Deathclaws. Um, we're not going to grab those eggs just yet. Um, we're going to go help Alice McLafferty out by acquiring the Gunrunner's secret recipe or whatever the hell it is she wants, the manufacturing stuff. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase? Guess while I'm here, I can check to see if you have any mods. Trail carbine scope. Trail carbine would be a good weapon to have. Hunting shotgun choke. Mm. Do you have any trail carbines? You do, you have one. And that would be a mighty good weapon to have. You know what? I'm fine. You can have that. I'll take the trail carbine. And any 44 rounds you have. Pay you a thousand caps. Mm. Now nah, you can have all this ammo, though. But yeah, I never did try to use that. Uh, try to use those thirty eights with my revolver. Let me try that now. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo and whiskey. I think you can actually. Can you really do that? You sure as hell can. They do less damage, but they um, degrade the gun less. Interesting. I never knew you could do that. I mean, I learned that fact in real life um, a couple weeks. Actually, a couple, probably a month or two. Ago. Actually, no, yeah, a couple months ago. Sitting tight. I'm gonna leave them here. Now, how do I get in here? Average locked gate. Alright. We can't kill anyone. I'm gonna do this actually sneaky. So we can't get caught, can't kill anybody.
That seems to be why she... Is there anything in here to take? This rifle. There's an assault carbine right there. It's worth quite a bit of money. Another locker. Police up batons. <laughs> it's amazing they just don't react to the door closing. That's funny. Fresh apple. Toolbox. Let's see what's over here. Might be nothing, but I want to check it out. Coca Cola. the lockers are empty. Okay, let's leave before the stealth boy runs out. Over here. Man, that that really is unlucky. Well, quickly, let's do this. There we go. didn't do anything. What did they just... What did they just know it was me? Whatever, let's get out of here. We won't go around looting the... I'll grab the Nuka-Cola. Grab the fresh apple and that Nuka-Cola over here. Now we leave. Are they going to be forever angry at me? How would they even know it was me? You know? Alright, let's uh, not quick save yet. Let's do a hard save, actually. And let's wait an hour. See if they kill me. No. Okay, we're good then. I was about to say, it would be really, really dumb if they were let's just like, what, what the fuck are you doing? Hey. How would, you, like, how would you even know I was in there? Like, what? Anyways. We did get a... Uh, an assault carbine out of there, and that was worth, hoo-wee, a lot of money. I didn't grab it. God damn it. I thought I saved before I grabbed it. Oops, I accidentally stood up. That's my bad. Alright, we're good. I'm not going to loot the other stuff. I'm not going to loot the fresh apples or anything. I'm just going to get out of here. I mean, it's a fresh apple and, like, there's... Two, three fresh apples in here and a Nuka Cola, dude. It's really not worth it. I thought I quick save after I grabbed it. That's that's my fault. Ooh, we got lucky. We got detected right there, but it wasn't bad. Let's hit the road. Wait an hour and then like walk over here see if they attack me. They don't. Good. Alright. Now we go to Alice McLafferty. And turn it in. We did get an assault car by now. In very good condition. 
because it's worth a lot of caps, <laughs> as you can see right there. I also did get a laser rifle in really good condition and a plasma pistol, but the plasma pistol's... Ugh. I don't even know why I have it. I didn't buy any 44 mag from the damn Vendatron. I thought I did. I could have sworn I bought some 44 Magnum. <sighs> hey there. I'll just buy some 44 Magnum from uh, Blake here. He's got to have some. He's got 44 Special, 44 Hollow Point. Checking his other kinds of ammo. Uh, okay. Probably wondering why I'm buying those books. These books are required for a quest. Um... like to pay as little as I can for that. I wasn't going to give him the assault carbine, even if he could take take it. I don't think he could. I can check again, but I don't think he could. Welcome back. Here, I have the uh, Gunrunners uh, manufacturing plans. I hear it's business as usual at the Gunrunners, as if nothing unusual happened. Excellent work. We'll be able to use the schematics you acquired to begin manufacturing our own weapons immediately. We'll provide some to you at a discount. Interesting. It's Damn it. Alright, I can't turn it in because I get NCR fame. And like I said, I don't want to be accepted by the NCR because in the Lonesome Road you'll see if I have plus reputation with any um, of the four major factions. I don't think anybody's coming over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is she? I don't think we're good. No, nobody saw me. Alright, we're good. Hey there. You look I'll just hold on to the quest for now. I'll do it later. No, he can't take it. He can't take the uh, assault carbine. Plus, it's only 500 caps. That's not really worth doing, honestly. 500 caps isn't a whole lot for... I mean, it's not worth the reputation, green, uh, reputation gain. Let's go to the Good Spring Cemetery, and we're going to deal with these uh, rad scorpions. So the eggs we need are right in there. That's a big old rad scorpion. It's a big old dead rad scorpion that just fell through the fucking floor. Forty-four special did I buy? I know they don't do as much ammo or as much damage, but I only have forty rounds of this stuff. I guess I can use it. You're just in time. All I'm doing is pissing him off. And she's not wrong. If she were to actually shoot at the uh, rad scorpions, all she would do is make it angry. Because uh, she has no armor-piercing ammo or anything of the kind. Let's go ahead and see if we can't take out this rat scorpion right here. One, two, and a peek. It's dead. Let's do a quick scout. By scout, I mean spam vats. Looks like we're good. Let's move up a little bit. 
do a little bit of a quick save. See a rad scorpion right there. It's dead. Yeah. Oh, it's doing the floor thing again. I don't know why it ended up over here, but it sure did. And that one's doing the same thing. Looks like that area is clear. Just because it looks clear doesn't mean it is clear. <coughs> It is not clear. There's at least three scorpions over there. At least two. And we might be able to get sneak attacks on them. I really wish that one would stop glitching through the floor. I think the reason why it's doing that is because it's out of the render distance. Something sees me, and I don't know what. Don't not even slowing it down. Let's paint this place red. <laughs> I like, I like that dialogue actually. Someone's looking to cash their chips early. She's she actually gets frustrated that she can't kill it. <laughs> Here's a dead mercenary with some 9mm on him. Nothing of use, really. Guy doesn't really have anything. Alright, and uh, let's go ahead and go back, go back and report to the Thorn. <sighs> I knew working for the Crimson Caravan would give me NCR rep. I just didn't know if it would give me enough to... Um go to the next uh, liked ranking or whatever, you know, the next Welcome reputation. Back, stranger. Um, do you have good news for the thorn? I do. Good work, stranger. The thorn will as a compensation for your service. I you are proving your worth to the thorn. I hope these extra caps are sufficient to demonstrate my fairness. Oh yeah, she also gives you some weapons. Bring me a dozen fire gecko eggs. This great challenge will earn you a matching reward. Now this one can be kind of dangerous. Be oh, I didn't mean to skip that, I'm sorry. Confident. Whoops. I like that. My bad. So long, stranger. Um, fire geckos can be really dangerous. And, uh... We're going into a pit of about uh, a dozen or so, maybe even two dozen, damn near. Um, yeah, this is going to suck. Let's uh, fast travel here, I guess. We'll do that, and then I'm going to instantly F2 and open up my inventory. Never mind, I thought we landed at a different area. We're good. Yeah, look, there's this guy walking around. I've got nothing to say to you. Best move on. See, there's the dead legion. What the fuck? They're here now. See? They weren't here earlier. The last time I came looking. Huh, oh, interesting. What we're looking for is, well, obviously to avoid this area, because I don't want to deal with yellow geckos, because that's not my 
my goal. My goal is to kill fire geckos, which are all over this area. And if I'm not careful, I might get a yellow gecko or two on me. You could just barely see one right there. Shouldn't have shot at it, but yeah, I thought I could kill it. Well, it looks pretty much clear. I don't see any. not there yet. Still need to be careful of fire geckos. Yeah, see there's some right up there. Equip the shotgun because there's gonna it's gonna be close range. And there's gonna be a lot of them inside. All right, are we here? Where's Rex? There he is. Entered Bootjack Cavern. Clear the right. Clear the left. Now I did say it was close range and I did want the shotgun. However, I'm only going to want the shotgun if they get attracted to me. Or, you know, well, if they notice me. Or if they're like right, if I'm clearing a corner. Like if I push up here, I'd want to clear this angle with a shotgun. Alright, let's go ahead and dump more points into. Uh, let's do survival and speech. Now let's do. Let's see what do we have here. Adamantium Skeleton, Purifier. You do 50% more damage with melee and unarmed against centaurs, night stalkers, death claws, super mutants, spore carriers. Mm. Center of mass. You don't fool around. Straight to the midsection and down they go. 15% damage to the torso when attacking in vats. Okay. I'm actually, I'm going to take um, intense training and I'm go going to go for strength again for more carry weight. Now there is a body over here. It's a prospector with a hatchet. I'll take the hatchet. I do increase damage with hatchets and I've, you know, haven't seen one in quite some time. <laughs> if ever. It's, uh, I don't know if I've ever, encou ever encountered a hatchet. I assume they have the same movement as a uh, knife. Yeah. All right, we don't need to worry about the right here. There's nothing there. I gotcha. Don't know why you went right for you and not for me. That's odd. 
Rex, are you okay? I can't get this health to go away. It's really weird. Alright, whatever. Let me stim back him. Still not clear. Let's check this guy. He's got some 357 on him. 12 gauge cowboy repeater. Another hatchet. A hunting shotgun. It's really good. Alright, now there's some more geckos over there. Let's throw this uh, grenade over there. I won't kill him, but it'll do some damage. So, let's see. Got 7.5 times 7 with a DPS of 93. And 71, 7.1 times 7 with a DPS of 83. Let's use this. I don't think I've ever jammed a shotgun. have jamming animations. Oh well. Alright, we got the eggs. We're good to leave. Now, I believe the next set of eggs we're going to need to get are Night Stalker eggs. And then I think we get Cazador and then Deathclaw. I could be wrong. I know Cazador and Deathclaw are the final two eggs you need. Um, but I'm not sure if you... <clears throat> not sure if you... Uh... Oh, the thorn is closed. We'll have to wait until they open. Which I think is at 6 or 7. Yeah, 6 in the morning. We're dehydrated. Let's fix that. Both in game and in real life. Now, we might be able to get the Cazador eggs, but we're not going to be able to get the Deathclaw ones. Welcome back, stranger. <sighs> Do you have good news for the Thorn? Yep. Good work, stranger. Here's a. I'm gonna skip that because it's all the same. You are a match to my elite, but don't congratulate yourself so profusely just yet. Still, your valor deserves recognition, and I shall honor it. The Thorns calling its elite hunters to collect one of its deadliest creatures. Find Night Stalker eggs, and your bravery will be greatly rewarded. Night Stalkers are amongst the most fearsome beasts you'll ever face. They're also hard to find, but I know of a nest at a cave near Bitter Springs. Confident. I like that. So long, stranger. I'm going to quickly look up... Um, just out of curiosity, if I can go to the Charleston Cave near Mount Charleston, and if I can find the eggs there. Uh oh, damn it. Can't go anywhere else. How do I get out of here? I need this fix. Help, I fell. Thank 
God for that. I almost... Oh, that would have sucked. Well, it would have sucked because I would have had to reload my save, and I don't like reloading saves. Alright, so there's the cave we need to go through. There's Bitter Springs, and uh, like pretty much all along this area, there's Cazadors, and there's... Uh, I don't think there's death calls, but there's Cazadors, um, probably some Night Stalkers roaming about the area. Just all in all, not fun. Let's see here. Okay. Um, this area is, it's gonna suck going this way. I guess we're going that way, man. We might run into a death claw. How many caps do I have? 12,000. Okay, let's, uh, Careful let's get an implant. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Alright, and I wanted to see, I wanted to check out my special before I did that. 7, 6, 8, 8, 7, 6, 1. We don't need any more agility. Um, we don't really need any more intelligence either. I could up my intelligence just for more skill points, but I don't need it. You're back. I want to buy two implants. So, we're going to buy a strength implant. Impl I'm just going to skip this because it's just one shot off dialogue of getting an implant. You're back. All right. Uh, and you can get an implant pretty much. So, there's one, two. So, there's special strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck, which is a seven, I believe. Yeah, seven. Strength, perception, intelligence, endurance, charisma, agility, luck. Yeah, seven. And then you have these two, which is eight and nine. We're not going to be grabbing the luck implant. Obviously, we won't need it. But I am going to be grabbing the in For intelligence 4, one. For 4,000 caps, I can install a logic coprocessor. I'm going to pay for it, so that's 8,000 caps total. I could buy another one, but we don't need it right now. And time does pass when that happens, um, obviously. Time does pass. I don't know how many hours of in-game time, but time does actually go by. Alright. This is gonna suck, dude. Probably gonna die. Let me, uh, quick save. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. We're good. I just, I don't want to die, man. <coughs> Ow. Oh, damn it. Are we near Raul's shack? If we are, we're going to definitely die. Because there's a death call. It's not too far from Raul's shack. Yeah, we are. Pretty sure. Or it might be over there. It's we'll find out in a second. If there's Brahmin up here, oh man, we're screwed. I can't kill a Deathclaw. Not with what I have. I'd have to buy some heavy guns. I would. That's not even an exaggeration. I just straight up would. God. 
Yep, this is Raul's shack. Ah, damn it. There are death claws near here. Which is really, really unfortunate because I don't want to deal with death claws. Hey, the guns and bullets. Nice. I didn't know that was in here. Some grenades. Eh, yeah, 9 mil. Doctor's bag. Oh, excuse me, Cass. This is Raul's shack. Raul is another companion. I mean, I can I can try, man, but I'm probably gonna die. The last time I did this, I did not come this way. So I'm gonna try and go off in this direction. I know of another way to get here. Another another much safer route. So 44 Magnum, if I have to shoot something, I want it to be with the good ammo. The special ammo sucks, and hollow points aren't going to be doing that much unless it's flesh. It's a golden gecko. Don't need this right now. I can't shoot it. Someone's looking to cash their chips early. Let me shoot it! What the hell is this? Whatever. This game, man. There's another gecko right there that I can't even shoot. runs ahead, dude. Actually, I hate it, to be precise. I really don't like it. I really fucking despise it, actually. Vault 34 might be over here, actually. In fact, I think that's what this is. Which is really good, because Vault 34 has a lot of stuff in it. That's very useful. Where are these enemies? Found them. Let's again, let's put on the good ammo. Thirty-four. Zero out of zero found apparently. Let's start. I guess this is Vault Three Four, not Vault Thirty-four. All right, this should be Camp Golf actually, which is good. If I want to get a Bitter Springs without really any trouble, I should go to Camp Golf. I believe this is uh, Camp Golf. If this is Camp Golf, this is good. Because um, it means we can just follow the water of like Lake, Lake Las Vegas and just go all the way to Bitter Springs. 
Oh shit. That was close. Let me uh, keep the hollow points on. It's not. Is this not Camp Golf? I thought it was. It sure looks it. Hmm. Oh, I did say I'd run into Cazadors. And that I have. <laughs> yeah, no, this is like Las Vegas, I believe. Yeah, and it is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Double headshot. Let me get some slurpy slurp. Get some water. Whoops. Come on. Get out of here. Alright, we're stuck. Bueno. No bueno. I lied. No bueno. Let me out. How much damage do hollow points actually do in this? Uh, well, how many do these hollow points do? 1.75, and it's... Three times the damage threshold? They're hollow points. They shouldn't do more damage threshold. I was saving them for the damn Cazadors, but... Keep running into the Lake Lurks, which is unsurprising. There's Cass and Rex. Catching up behind me. Fisherman's Pride Shack. Sunset star cap in here. Fridge. BB gun? Yeah, BB gun on the shelves. Sunset's Asparilla. An empty footlocker or Pugilism Pugilism Illustrated. Which is irrelevant to me. Uh yeah, there's also and a waste Oh shit. Starts. What is it? It's a Lake Lurk, fine, it's a Lake Lurk. Rex is doggy swimming. Doggy paddling. Oh god, Rex is going. Did it die? No. It did not. I can't shoot it. There it is. Doesn't really make sense that my bullets just instantly disappear into the water. Gonna six this bitch. Where are my bullets, man? probably hurt Cass. I don't think I can even use melee weapons underwater, can I? 34 DPS, 88 DPS. Let's, oh, let's try it. Let's nope. paint this place red. I could use console commands to kill it. If I can't get rid of it, if I can't get it to like, oh, there we go. There we go. I was going to say, if I can't get it to come on land or get it close enough to where I can shoot it, I'm going to console command kill it. 
because it's just going to follow me around and it's just going to be really annoying if I couldn't actually get rid of it. So there's a bunch of uh, lake lurks on this little raft thing here. Like raft colony thing almost. Should be fine to go loot this without. What the hell happened? What is happening? Fucking game just tabbed out. Twice. Okay, I don't see any lake lurks, which is good. I think we killed them all. scavenger platform. Yeah, that's what it is. I said colony. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. There's a wasteland survival guide over here, which was uh, kind of worth it because I need points in survival. 22 LR. <laughs> Boo. There's not a whole lot here, really. There's really, really, really not. A couple missiles in the back. A foot locker. Some beds, some water, I don't know where Cass is, she's somewhere, oh there she is. You don't by any means need to deal with that, I just chose to deal with it. Alright, this next part's gonna suck. There's um, some Cazadors nearby. And yeah. Might even be up. There's some up here. Oh my god, there's three. Well, goodbye, ah. life. You don't need this right now, Rex. No! All right, fuck it. We're not dealing with them. God, fu I don't think I have a fucking choice. Uh, no, Rex. No. You stay. I don't want you fighting. Cause Rex is about as useful as a bowl of wet meat. That was a good shot. Quick save. Come on. Come back. Wish they'd show themselves. You and me both. I don't want to crest this hill and get Cazadord. You're just in time for your ass. Alright, Cass, let's go clear this hill. I wanna I wanna take this hill. Make sure there's no Cazadors up here. I got a lucky sneak attack on one of them. Oh no, there's three more. Ow! Cass! 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 Fucking Vance, please! 
think it's dead. No! <laughs> I did not deserve to win that, dude. No fucking way did I deserve Let's that. Let's distribute the weight. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, that mm -mm. Here, have some fucking whiskey, lady. You fucking deserve it. Ah, damn. I did not deserve that. that Bad guys won't see us coming. I did not deserve that win at all. Not one damn bit. Am I glad it happened? Oh yeah, absolutely. Did I deserve it? No. No, I did not. All right, Cass. I'm gonna. Oh God, you're hurting. Sitting tight. Oh, yeah, that's that damn poison. Sweet as rose. Gotta make sure she's not dying. Get who? Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna fucking. I'm not, I'm not even gonna wait because she almost died. I lied. Is she fine? Oh, she's fine. Thank God. Okay. You stay. Me go kill. Alright, anyways. Now that we're here. We're at Colville Bay. Now right up in there is some more Cazadores. That's not gonna make it. No. I have thirty odd bucks. I think it's a tighter pellet spread. Is that what it is? I didn't really... That doesn't say. It just says nothing. I don't have any more snake bike tourniquets. No. It's because I got poisoned like twice. So. Gotta take some anti-venom to get rid of the venom. Duh. What's trying to kill me? Well, I mean, besides these cazadors over here that exist... I'm getting real lucky. Ain't even no joke, dude. No cap. I'm getting lucky. Are there any Cazadores in here? No, thank God. No more, anyways. <laughs> Some 308 metal box with nothing in it. Oh. <sighs> All right, that was more stressful than it needed to be. And remember, we're doing this all for. Uh -huh. We're doing this all for Night Stalker eggs. I mean, this was much safer than the route I could have taken to get here. Could have ran into death claws and then just been given absolutely no shot. I didn't want the sledgehammer. Can I have that back? Yeah, that's that ham radio up here making noise.
Oh, that's those, uh, these things. The little hula girls that made that. I didn't hear that in the last time I was here. Lad's life down there. Bunch of silverware, pressure cookers, and stuff. Bobby pins. Doesn't seem like there's much of anything here. Huh? Wait, what? Okay. I don't even... I don't even know. Anyways, let's take a step back. Let's go get our companions. The reason why I didn't grab Cass, uh, or why I didn't have her come over here and help me fight is because, well, um, she probably would have gotten poisoned and I just didn't even want to deal with that again. I just didn't. There's still... Mm. Mm. Let's roll out there. Yeah. She's making noises all right. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't want to, uh, she had a shotgun, it wasn't going to be real much of any help. Just like fighting a death call. There, I would rather just shoot 357 Magnum at it. Alright, we got our companions. Let's go get these Night Stalker eggs, shall we? I'm probably going to run into more Cazadors, but... Oh god, help me. I'm going to need it. a little shack over there. I want to go see what that little shack is. Besides my impending death, that is. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the cap counterfeiting shack. Right. I found this the last time I played. And uh, I found it I found it before that as well. Um A varmint rifle, some shitty amounts of ammo. Locker with some more ammo in it. Another um Nuka Cola truck and a toy car. Pressure cooker. I uh, need to go through here. <coughs> Another sarsaparilla and stuff in here, but uh, I don't want the sarsaparilla. I just want the caps. And there's counterfeit bottle caps, but these don't serve any purpose. You can just have them to have them if you want. Which I don't really know why you would want them, but, uh, you know, there you go. If you want them, you can have them. Oh, there's also a Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor in here. Nice. More barter. That's not sarcasm. I'm <laughs> it kind of sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't sarcasm. Another stealth boy. Good. You love to see stealth boys. Take a nap here. I wonder if you could live here. It's not a bad place. It's not the best either, but... Oh my god, Cass. I won't lie, she scared the shit out of me. I'm a little on edge with all the Cazadors and... Yeah. I'm going to have to deal with more. See, there's another one right there. You know, they're a lot harder to hit on the ground, I feel like.
Chico, you little bastard. Or I guess big bastard, because you're not little. Anyways, where'd you go? No, I don't give a shit if I get stung. I can deal with the poison. The... The AI cannot deal with the poison, because I cannot give them uh, anti-venom. I might be able to give them a snake bite tourniquet, if I had one, but I don't have one. I can Let's make more. This in gear. Come on. No! <sighs> God damn it, Rex. You got stung. That's how I know he got stung, because he's not healing. I just gave him a stim pack. Yeah, see, look. Let's see if this kills him. Nope, oh, he's Careful good. If we go off the road. Oh, we're already off the road. Um, we're, we're off the beaten trail. Yeah, there's a lot of Cazadors and stuff around here. I keep fucking saying that, dude, but I mean, I don't know what else to say. There's Cazadors. Now my existence. Ah! Pain. All right. I didn't want to do this. Drug time. I accidentally took that. Take that turbo. We're going to need it. And uh, let's take, where is it? Didn't I get a guns and bullets there? high right now god I can smell it from here keep that shit away from me my father had heart problems and it ran down the family tree to me not looking to have my heart skip its last beat even if I considered putting that junk in my system which I don't app yeah, yeah she doesn't like it when you take drugs which I like kind of I only took the drugs because I was in a dire fucking... I was in a dire situation where I needed them. <sighs> Believe me. I wasn't going to take them if I didn't need them. But that's why they're there is because I needed them. Oh man, did I need them. It's always scary to do hardcore and have Rex and fight something like a Cazador. Uh, at least a death call will give you like a damn near instantaneous death. Cazador? Nope. You gotta fight that poison. And then the fight starts. Well, I didn't even shoot him. It's a fire gecko though, thank god. I don't need to worry about much. Uh, I mean, I kind of do. If they swipe, that's a lot of damage. There's something over here. Might be more fire geckos. Could be night stalkers. If they're night stalkers, night stalkers are pretty Let's damn dangerous too. Here. I can't see them. Ah! Alright, she's fine. Yeah, she's just on fire. She's fine. It's hilarious how she can be on fire. But she can't take a little Cazador venom. I need to watch that video of a dude getting stung by a tarantula wasp again. Let's start. I 
least they're on me. I'd rather them attack me. Or Rex. I mean, Rex is pretty damn tanky, honestly. How much health do you have? 242. Oh, maybe he just has a high damage threshold. He might have a high DT, that's why. So, I'm not... I'm going to pick up every single Rad Scorpion egg I can find. Or Rad Scorpion, or Night or not Night Rad Scorpion, Night Stalker. Including their blood. Because their blood can actually be used for something. I think it can be used to make uh, Hydra. I believe. Which is a pretty good chem if you don't know what Hydra is. Hydra uh, restores all your limbs. God, I hate being in here. It's a really dangerous location. It's a really cool place. But there's a lot of Night Stalkers. And Night Stalkers, yeah, they do a lot of damage. Now, I did find a uh, stealth board, so I'm going to actually use one. Dead trooper down here. Nothing on him. Now, there's a gun there. I kicked it around. You're the legendary! It's dead, though. We're good. Damn, I didn't think that would be the first thing I ran into. Legendary fucking Night Stalker, huh? Cass and uh, Rex are fine. I mean, the eggs are right here, right? I thought they were. Ooh, a hunting shotgun. Oh, hell yes. It, I don't think it'll get the damage boost from... Because it's not lever action, but at least I can repair it and use it instead of my 20 gauge. It'll help a little. Make some more snake bite tourniquets. We don't need snake bite tourniquets because, uh, well, at least against the night stalkers. Yeah, here are the eggs. All right, we're good then. We can get out of here. You can find 12 eggs, and if you find 12 eggs, they will become a pile of eggs for the quest. But you don't. But you don't need to find 12 eggs. Ships early. Damn, I feel bad for these motherfuckers. Right now, something to note here is there's a very hard gate and a tripwire. Oh yeah, there's a key to this gate. We disarmed the tripwire. There's a grenade bouquet. Like, right there. Can't really see it. It's like right where my iron sights are. Let's go get the key to this um, cave or this door so we can get the loot. And since we're on our way out, we can grab it, then leave. He should be here. Actually, may not. 
It, it may, yep, there it is, right there. Key. It's on the campfire. I knew I found the key before, um, and I assume it goes to the gate because I've never. The last time I did this, I actually lockpicked the gate. But I assume the key goes to the gate. We'll find out right now once I go over here to the gate. You open the gate, be careful with the tripwire. Some 12.7 ammo, some a 12.7 uh, SMG, and a locked trunk. So, some actually good guns in here. A lot of bottle caps. Ooh, goddamn, a lot of money. Ooh. That was 7,400 caps. Come on, guys. Get out of there. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to the thorn. We're done here. Oh man, we are done here. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, man, Cazadors. Fucking Night Stalkers, man. Oh, they're brutal. Brutal. Welcome back, stranger. Do you have good news? Good work, stranger. You speak the truth, stranger. And the thorn lives by the justice that honor and strength dispense. Here's a more fitting sum. I'm asking our top hunters to gather Cazador eggs. I'd be impressed by whoever returns with such a prize. Cazadors are extremely deadly, but they are also reclusive. Try looking near the Red Rocks canyons. The crowd loves your bravery. Oh, God, so they better. Still. You better love me after this. <laughs> nah, I still have to do, uh, I, I have to get the Kazor eggs, and then I have to get Deathclaw eggs. And the Deathclaw eggs, the eggs ooh. The can lead you to food territory. Yike. Speaking of that, let's go see if I can go pick one up. <laughs> let's go see if I can't buy an anti-material rifle. Welcome, sir, or Matt. I'm pretty sure I can. Uh huh. Anti material rifle right there. Let's buy some ammo. Oh, I'll pay for it all if I have to. I don't care. I need this stuff. Yeah, you can have this uh, salt carbine I happened uh, happened upon. Totally didn't happen in your building. I don't know. You can have that hunting revolver. Uh, I'm going to keep this one. You can have my old lever action shotgun, this plasma pistol. And you can have this 12.7 millimeter SMG. If I want one, I'll just buy one. You can have that cowboy repeater. That's fine. And you know what? You can have this hunting rifle. I think she gave me that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. money. I can't give you legion funds because literally nobody will buy them. <laughs> Pretty much. $680? I'll pay that. I don't care. Alright. Uh, let's <laughs> go kill Cazadors, I guess. I'll hold up here. Let's hit. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. 
Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. All right, let's go then. Thanks. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. All right. All right, then. I don't want to continue that quest just yet. I am going to do that quest, just not right this minute. Let's go kill more Gazador, shall we? <laughs> oh! Oh! Marcus! Are you good? Thank God. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck happened? What is happening, man? I'm losing it. Ah. Oh God, I gotta turn around. I want to. I want to break into Marcus's room real quick. I brought that up. And I think I brought that up in the last part, or I brought it up in this one. I can't remember. But I never did. Uh, break in there. Should be back here. Nope, not back here. Oh no, it's upstairs, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's upstairs. Ah, oh, my knee. Someday, I miss being in the master. The only like locked door on this entire in this entire building. There it is. Staying low. The hell? There's nothing in here. There's pre-war clothing, or dirty clothing, some chairs, more pre-war clothing, a coffee mug, and a makeshift bedding. Huh. Wow, there really was just nothing, huh? Okay. Well, that's disappointing. I don't know why, why is it even locked then, you know? Hell's even supposed to be in there. Um, all right, anti-material rifle. You're going in slot number six for death or for uh, Cazadors. I'm keeping incendiaries on. I don't think I'll need them, but I'm keeping them on. At least you're okay, Marcus. That's all that I care about. Something on your mind? I really hope you don't die. I might have to use console commands to heal you. So the reason I came up here is because you can kind of go around to the south. Um, but you just have to... Well, you kind of have to just go down the road a little bit and then you can start heading south. Mantis? Yeah. That how you wanna play? I'm not worried about mantises.
worried about Cazadors. There are some in this area. I thought I saw one darting around. I guess that could have been my mind playing tricks on me. Just gotta be careful. Listen to my companions. We'll be okay. I'm not worried about dying. I mean, if I die, it doesn't matter. I can reload a save. But I don't want my companions dying, and I don't have to combat their <coughs> their poison. So I'd rather take the beatings, you know, for them if I can help it. I could have sworn I could go this way. I think I'm going the right way. I hope I am. Enemy up ahead, Cazador. Moving quick. Yep, Cazador. You're just in time for your ass whipping. <sighs> this is when uh, having something explosive would be good. And I don't mean explosive rounds, I mean something explosive. Got him Rex! No. He's got too much poison in him. He got stung like three times. He actually might die. Yep. He died. That's why I quick saved. It's exactly why I quick saved. I wonder if I give you a snake bite tourniquet, would it work? I'm hoping it would. You know, because it's an automatic use kind of thing, but. Glad I left the outpost behind. No, it ain't working. Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like melee characters. Or melee companions. Rex is gonna die. You know what? Just for the sake of this, I'm going to look up a heal companion. Uh, heal companion. Just wondering if there's a command I can use because I don't want to sit here and waste 700 stim packs.
I don't think I can. I don't think there's an actual heal command in the game. Player reputation, that's quest stuff. Inventory and item manipulation. Player manipulation. Uh, that's... No, no. 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 Let's level XP, bet you. Sleep, rate menu, add perks, sex change. I didn't know you could actually change the sex of your character with the command. That's cool. Player dot reset half. Player dot reset health. Restore NPC's health. Try that. Did it work? It did not work. Oh well. I just don't like sitting here for fucking five minutes dealing with him being poisoned. And, you know, pumping him full of stem packs didn't actually do anything. He might not be poisoned anymore. It's, nope, he's still poisoned. Uh, God damn it, man. Alright, he's healthy now, thank god. <sighs> We're not even there yet, dude. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna come back and get you. I don't I don't want you fucking with me. Cause I don't wanna deal with it. It isn't worth it. Staying low. Let's get this in gear. Time for some get even. Oh, cast died. Uh, I guess just Omega fuck me, huh? <sighs> it's okay. I knew she'd die because she can't I'll hold up here. do anything. She has a damn caravan shotgun. I need to give her another weapon. So it's really my fault. But what can you do? I'll tell you what I can do. I don't have any more turbo, do I? I don't. I do have a stealth boy, though. Quick save. That actually worked. I really didn't think that would work. See, I mean, I knew it was explosive. Because it says explosive. I just didn't think it meant explosive. As in, I just launched a fucking grenade at them. Explosive. I didn't think it would literally blow up like it was a grenade from a rifle. Let's just do it again then. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Ah, damn, that one exploded. Oh my god, why does it feel like it hits so fucking hard? Like, more than usual. Alright, we're good. Let's go get my companions. 
I mean, I've used explosive ammo before. This is nothing... This is not something I've never touched. I've used it before. I've just never used it this well with this such... I guess I've never used it on Cathador's. I've used it on Deathclaws, and I didn't notice anything unique. I didn't notice anything crazy. I know I, I don't think I have the strength recommendation to use this weapon either. I think it's a 10. Oh, no, I don't have the gun skill. I believe the strength is an 8. It might be 10. Let's roll out then. At least you're both alive. That's all that matters. Man, that's really all that matters. Oh, man. That one was... That one was brutal. I'll stop uh, after I kill the death claws. God damn it. What's trying to kill me now? Alright. I didn't want to do this to you, but you're, you're dead. Can you heal? There he goes, he did. Yeah, he did, okay. Alright, let's go turn in the Cassador eggs, then we're gonna go get to the Deathclaw ones. I forgot, it's closed. That's my bad. Now we're gonna go in. Now we're going in. And then we're gonna go get the Deathclaw eggs. And then... I'm going to uh, be done. Or I could just do it for next part. But Welcome honestly, back, I might as well Stingy. finish it right now. Yeah, I got Good. the eggs. Yep. Here's a call. Yep. You are a match to my elite. But don't congratulate yourself so profusely just yet. Alright, she's just going to say the same this thing. This is it, Hunter. I've decided to grant you the opportunity to earn the greatest honor the thorn could ever expect death claws are our most precious and our most feared contenders i want you to be the one to deliver the sacred eggs to me personally I was reading uh, stuff. Quarry Junction is overrun with death claws, but you may stand a better chance at a nest near the Repcon test site. Yeah, ignore that near the Repcon test site. Fucking ignore that. I've come to expect nothing less from you, brave stranger. Ignore that. Do not acknowledge. Do not even. Do not even begin to acknowledge the, uh... <sighs> Whoa. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking losing it! Losing it! Uh, what was this? There was this perk I was looking for. What is it called? Oh, here it is. You need 8 Endurance at level 30. I'm just going to take the Tag skill. And then I'm going to grab Medicine. Because, I mean, Medicine's very useful. Keeps my, uh, my stim makes my stim packs more effective. I need my fix. I guess you're gonna need that, huh? Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, we haven't actually been down by Quarry Junction, so the other place she wanted you to go was near the Repcon test site, which is over here. And she wanted to go to you. She wanted you to go to Deadwind Cavern. For those that have never played, I almost said Dark Souls. I don't know why I almost said Dark Souls. Following New Vegas.
the reason why it's so dangerous to go to um grab these gecko sticks actually grab the hide on accident to make a gecko stick so yeah the the reason why it's so dangerous at, to go to Deadwind Cavern is because um Deadwind Cavern is filled with um, a whole lot of death claws, an alpha death claw and a mother death claw, and and the single strongest thing in the base game, the legendary death claw. But that didn't sound so bad. Oh, uh, the death claw, will, the the legendary death claw will one shot you. Like, no matter what, pretty much. Um, it's not even worth it. Like, that, that's an area... You, you don't go to that area to do this quest. You go to that area... To... To get the loot inside of it. Now, there's some good loot in there. But is it worth risking my life for? At... Right now? No. No, it is not. It's probably... Powder Gangers. Yeah, it is. I'm not even worried about it. Have fun. Did he have a... Hang on, let me... Let me quick save if see if he had a hunting shotgun. It looked like it for a second. No, he had a single shotgun. Moving on. She wants death claw eggs. Yeah, she's kind of crazy for that. Hi. Bye. I forgot I had these Vault 22 jumpsuits. Alright, bye. <laughs> uh, the reason why I took the tag skill... Um, I took the tag skill because I wanted just extra points into something without having to actually dump the points in there. And I dumped the points. I uh, wanted the points into medicine because medicine's extremely useful. Now, I may have been down here before. Yes, I have been down here before because there's supposed to be food and stuff in here. I've already grabbed that stuff. Um, however, I have not been to Sloan, which is down here. Now, if you want to get to New Vegas early on, you want to go straight to Sloan pretty much. More powder gangers. They're dead. Yet again. They keep trying to fuck with me, and I'm not really sure why. I mean, oh, they're just a they're angry at me. Wang. Oh yeah, there's also a Bright Brotherhood guy down here. A Bright Follower. I usually see him with a recharger rifle. Uh, now, did I do everything down here? No, we haven't been to Sloan. I can't have done everything down here. Uh, there's a couple things in here, and there's also some skill books. We could touch this generator and repair it. Properly assemble the generator. We could fix snuffles here. Leg appears to be injured. Repair snuffles leg. Go Just into the. Again. Wouldn't drink it if I were you. I think the mining office is where I want to go. There should be some money in here. Shh. We're hunting. Shitheads. Yeah, there's some money in there. Let's go ahead and lockpick this safe. Hmm. 
No, it's not the machine shop. Workers barracks? It's either the would you get out of my way? There's so many fucking things in my way. It's either the mess hall or the workers barracks. It's the workers barracks. And the workers barracks has a skill book in it. It's a duck and cover. But it's still a skill book. Can you stop fucking looking at me? Alright. Stole everything I wanted. Alright, now we're gonna talk to Louis Chomps. He's gonna stop us. Hold up. There are death claws all over the damn place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. It's nice to see things going the way they're supposed to for a change. I'm going to pay you out of my own pocket for this one. Right, I forgot about the NCR rep. That didn't actually give me a level. Which is good, because I, once again, like I've stated before, I don't want NCR rep to exceed mutual. Do you need something? See if this one, if this is gonna. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're not gonna, not gonna do that one. Do you need something? I've been pouring myself some water. I'm fucking thirsty. We thirsty out here. Yeah, death claws, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna take care of the death claws. I don't want to listen to his dialogue about it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm on a, I'm I'm rushing it. I don't care. Me no care right now. Me kill. All right, Cass, stay. Sitting tight. Giggity. You stay. Boy, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't stop growling at me. All right, time to go kill all the death claws. <clears throat> all right, so there should be about six um, fully grown death claws. There should be one adult, uh, one alpha, one alpha male. I mean, one alpha male, one mother death claw. Uh, I think about six. No, I think it's uh, four babies and about ten young death claws. fucking throne. We should have more than enough ammo to kill these death claws. Am I even hitting you? I am. I'm just not critically hitting you. Alright, fuck this. Now the alpha male is usually around in this area. Really want to find the alpha male nice and easy. If 
You also want to do this as e the easiest way as possible. Just um, go up on this little ramp. This piece of machinery right here is not a ramp, but just go up here. And death claws, if they aggro on you, they'll just run away because they can't get to you. There's the devil, the alpha male right there. We're gonna throw some AP ammo. He's gonna run over. Be like, what the fuck happened, my son? And I'm gonna be like, fuck you. That one was a miss. I think that was a miss too. That one hit the wall. Alright, Alpha's down. I repeat, Alpha is down. Uh oh. That's not good. The, the mother is still down here, but she's usually by the nest area, which is over there. I'm going to quickly throw on this stealth boy. So we're near the nest. Should be able to see the mother very soon. Should be over here. This isn't exactly safe either, coming up here. Uh, because the death claws can get up here and fucking just swack the shit out of me, so. Here's the mother. Okay. Oh, she's angry because I blew up her baby. Did get a critical strike on the mother. Crippled her head, but she is going berserk. It doesn't matter, she's dead. suffering. God damn, explosive ammo is amazing. How come I don't remember this stuff being this good? What the hell's wrong with me? There's another death claw down here. I'm about to fucking no scope your ass. Bow. Get fucked, idiot. No longer cloak, but that's okay. I'll just give a little scope up here. There's usually a death claw or two up there. I already killed one. Should be good. There might be like one or two more death claws in this entire uh, area, but I don't give a shit. They're all dead to me. Pick up the eggs. Pick up the individual eggs. They sulfur a lot. Pick up the LMG. Pick up the ammo. I am over encumbered. Rip. Uh, yeah, this LMG is heavy. I forgot about that. I'll drop the RCW. Uh, I'll drop some ammo I don't need. Uh, let's drop. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I won't drop any ammo. <laughs> uh, 
the death claw eggs. The actual pile of eggs are heavy. I didn't know that. I'm keeping the LMG. I don't need the barter outfit no more. You know what? Uh, let's eat some food. Now there is a location I want to grab before I uh, <clears throat> before I leave. And it's up here. That chunk of the mother death club blew up here. Ain't that funny? There might not. Oh, there is one more. more so what we want to grab is this great con camp up here um, I'm not gonna go out that way it might be too dangerous might be I'm just gonna come up here grab this location That's close enough what do you want with the Great Khan? Awaiting a delivery, but it's a no-show. I'm guessing that the Death Claws in the quarry have something to do with that. Is that right? What's your angle? Right. All right, here's the deal. I was expecting a shipment of chemicals. It's usually in a suitcase dropped off in one of the big machines up here. Because of the Death Claws, I have to assume the suitcase is still in Sloan. Snoop around the place and get it for me. Like what? Grab this location. Why I'm not gonna do this. Here? I'm not gonna do this uh, quest yet. I. Oh man. Where am I? Ah oh, damn it! I hit F nine instead of F three. <sighs> God damn it, dude! Oh my green. I meant to, I, I've done that before. I meant to hit F5, actually, to quick save. Would you? I ended up hitting F9. Because my brain stopped working for 0 0.2 seconds. Oh, it died. I guess it's because I was sneaking. No, it ain't dead. F5. We're good now. I can skip her dialogue, though, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm an idiot, dude. I went the wrong way, too. I'm supposed to go over here. I didn't go... Technically, I didn't go the wrong way. I just didn't go far enough. I just want to grab this location. I don't want to grab the quest. If that's at all possible. Close enough. What do you want with the great car? 
I don't even need to talk to her. Oh, okay, I could just come back later. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. I got it. It doesn't even matter now. I come back later. Why do I keep hitting F9? What's wrong with me? Send help. Because I'm crazy. Let's hit the road. Never thought I'd pass the Vegas Wall. I've never seen so many lights in one place before. They're both following. That's all that matters. Thank God I didn't hit F9 again. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just losing my mind. Alright, and we're done. It took me almost three hours. Well, done. This. It didn't take me almost Welcome three hours. Back, it took me over 40 minutes of... Do you have good... You've, indeed, become the greatest hunter the Thorn has ever seen. The best I've ever seen. You've earned the honor of being part of this sacred ground. <clears throat> Come to me often, and I'll share with you the wealth of the Thorn. You've done enough to last many lifetimes, stranger. But I'd like you to come see me again. Thank you, my brave hunter. I'm over encumbered. Cass. Cass. Let's deal. Hey, bottle caps. I don't plan on giving her anything automatic. If I give her any weapon, it'll probably be a bolt action or a, or another type of shotgun or something. I'm not going to give her anything automatic. Mainly because I don't want to have to give give her ammo. Oh, we did get a unique shotgun, and I believe it's camoed. Yep. Or, yeah, or it's like scratched up. Yeah, no, it is camoed. Got like little wooden foliage. On the guard and the s on and the uh, buttstock. We have a hunting shotgun. Let's go ahead and fully repair it. Why the hell not, dude? Who cares? All right, we're done. <laughs> that is the end of uh, part five. I think this is part five. Yeah, part five. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, that's the end of part five. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate it. And I want to say uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in part six. Thank you again. And uh, see you then.